Do you know that the World Cup trophy has been stolen? Oh, you didn't know? Well, I'm telling you. This is the field of play, the World Cup edition. And when we come back, I'm going to tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Now, Julio Rimet was a French football administrator and the third president for FIFA. He's credited to have founded the World Cup competition. He's the longest serving FIFA president in office for 33 years. Now, he was even nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. I mean, that's amazing. Very interesting. But this story is not about him, right? It's about me telling you how the FIFA trophy was stolen. Now, there have been two FIFA World Cup trophies made. The first one was named after him, Julien Rémy, or Julien Rémy. Abel Lefler was the sculpture of the first FIFA trophy, named after the ex-president of FIFA, Julien Rémy. The first time the FIFA trophy was stolen was in London. I'm taking you back to 1966, when England hosted the World Cup for the first time. Now, you know normally when they're about to host the World Cup, they take the trophy on the top. FIFA World Cup trophy top. Now it's Coca-Cola FIFA World Cup trophy top. So it's a, it was a big thing to promote the competition. So the trophy was put on display at Westminster Central Mall in London for everybody to come and see so that they can whip excitement and Ghana support for the competition in London. All of a sudden, the cup was nowhere to be found. The cup went missing. The cup had been stolen. The whole world was laughing at the United Kingdom. Everybody was laughing at them. This really upset the United Kingdom and they decided to put their best investigators on the case. So you can imagine Scotland Yard, MI6 or MI5, Everybody was on the job. They put their top investigators on the job to find a trophy. They tried, they tried, they tried, uh, nothing was happening. Then seven days later, a dog by the name of Pickles discovered the trophy wrapped in newspaper and dumped under a garden hedge in a residential neighborhood called Bullier Hill in Norwood, South London. Now the dog became a celebrity, became a hero. He even got prize money and everything. So Yuki was excited. They were happy that they'd been able to find the trophy. So then the FA decided to do a replica of the trophy so that they put that one on display for security reasons so that no one would steal that one again. Or even when it's stolen, if not stolen the original one, it would be the replica that is stolen. But FIFA did not agree, but they still went ahead to do it. So later, the replica FIFA trophy was sold for 254,500 pounds. The person who stole the trophy at the time was not found for so many years. Up until 2018, Sidney Kugulier was discovered as the one who stole the trophy. He was a petty thief, a petty thief. So basically he said he was just walking around and he saw the trophy and he realized that security was weak. So quickly he just, Stole it. But then there were a lot of news reportage about the trophy. People were talking about it. It was in the press and everything. So the heat was on. So he got scared and didn't know what to do with the trophy again. After that time, nobody would even want to buy it. So then he decided to throw it away. So the second time the World Cup trophy was stolen was in Brazil. Can you believe that? Brazil had won the World Cup three times on a row. They won it in 1958. 1962 and then 1970. So after the third win, FIFA handed the trophy over to them. Because that was a rule as at that time. When you win it three times, you get to keep the trophy. FIFA had handed the Jules Remit Cup to Brazil. So they commissioned a new World Cup trophy for the 1974 World Cup. And this was done by Italian sculptor Silvio Gazzaniga. Out of 53 designs, the current World Cup trophy was picked. Now it is 18 karat golds and has two bands of malachite. 
the Julio Remain Trophy, which was won by Brazil, was kept at the Brazilian Confederation of Football headquarters. So, for instance, our GFA office kept in the office beautifully. And a gang broke in. There was only one security man at post at that time. Tied him up, locked him somewhere, and stole the trophy. Now, the trophy has ever since not been found. It is believed to have been melted. Because who's going to get that trophy? Unless somebody is secretly keeping it in their collection. It's possible, but it's never been found. So after the theft, Brazil's FA decided what, to do a replica of the trophy. And this time, it's kept under heavy security. So because of this incident, FIFA decided that no country, whoever wins the World Cup three times, is going to keep it. They are rather given a gold-plated replica of the trophy called the FIFA World Cup Winners Trophy. The original FIFA World Cup trophy survived World War II, hidden under the bed of the then Vice President of FIFA, Ottorino Barassi's bed. He put the trophy under his bed, right? That's very interesting. But there was another incident in South Africa 2010, where teams stole seven replica trophies from the FIFA Temporal Office. Now, each trophy was worth $255. So I don't think it's an original trophy. It was just replicas that it gave to people as parts of gifts. So there you have it about how the FIFA World Cup trophy got stolen not once, but twice. Oh, but it's not the current World Cup. That one is, is not being stolen. That one is still under heavy security. Under this current administration, no one is going to venture. My name is Eli Tetito Mokbo, and you've been watching The Field of Play. See you next time. Bye-bye.